Hi everyone, I'm John, and today I want to show you how to add task owners or resources in Gantt Excel. Let's get started. Click on the Resources button in the Gantt menu. The Resources form will open up. By default, Organization is added as a resource. You can set the workdays for the organization here and the holidays in this section. Gantt Excel will automatically calculate dates based on the workdays and holidays. Let's add a new resource. Type in the resource name and click the Add button. Let me set the workdays for Adam. Adam works from Monday to Saturday and will be taking a two day holiday break on the 11th and 12th of August. Let's set the resource cost per day for Adam at $600 US and then click the Save button. Let me add another resource. Let's say Sarah. I'm going to select Monday and Sunday as her weekend off days. Click the Save button to save the changes. You can also import resources from an Excel file with a few clicks. If you want to delete a resource, you can select the resource and click the Delete Resource button. You can click the Close and Refresh Gantt Chart button to refresh the dates and the timeline. Now let's explore how you can assign resources to tasks. By default, all tasks use Organization as the default resource, so it is as good as typing in Organization or leaving it blank. All task dates will account for Organization workdays and holidays. There are a couple of ways to assign resources. One of them is just to type in the resource name. This works as long as you have added the resource to the resource list. Let's type in Adam. But before I hit the Enter key, please observe that the end date for this task is set to 13th August. Now observe the timeline bars as I hit the Enter key. You will see a few changes instantly. The task finish date changed from 13th August to 15th August as it now considers the two days of vacation and Saturday as a workday. The timeline bar for this task is updated, and since the other tasks are linked up by task dependencies, they have moved as well. You will also notice that Gantt Excel has automatically highlighted the vacation days for Adam and the work off days as well. You can choose to highlight holidays and work off days in the timeline by clicking on the Settings button in the Gantt menu. You can also select the colors here as well. I'm going to close the settings form for now without making any changes. The second way to assign a resource is to just double click the resource cell and you can select a resource. You can click this button to move the resource to the selected list or just double click the resource name. I'm going to double click Adam's name to move him to the selected list and double click it again to move his name out. Now, before I click the OK button, please observe that this task starts on Monday. I'm going to click the OK button to assign this task to Sarah. You will now see that this task, which was going to start on Monday, has moved to Tuesday, as Sarah does not work on Mondays. You can also assign resources within the task form. Double click any task to open the task form and click on the Resources field. This will open the Select Resources form. I'm going to select Adam and click the OK button. This will assign the task to Adam. And that's how easy it is to create resources and assign resources in Gantt Excel. If this video helped you, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. That way, you will get a notification anytime I upload new videos.